folks in the house, how's everybody doing? Decided I'm going to do one of my, uh, I think this is my second one, is I did a top 10 uh, westerns, uh, I think 1960s. And today I am going to do war movies, and as I was doing this, this is my third take, is I kept thinking of movies while I'm doing this, and I was like, oh God, what about this movie? So I'm going to be doing 12 movies, um, and this list can rotate. I could probably do this list, and I'd say probably nine, nine movies could stay on the list, and then the other three would rotate probably, or could do that. Maybe eight, but I'm going to do this. There's not really a, a, I'll try to go over at the end, maybe like the movie I would think I enjoy it is how I'm going to try to do it. But out of this, if I, it's going to be what I feel like. Um, and I'll try to explain that at the end uh, once I go through the list. And it's just crazy. Um, again, I'm sitting there like, I'm about, and all of a sudden it's like, oh shoot, I forgot about this one. So, I'm going with 12, and uh, I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to throw a shout-out to Pat. Uh, his birthday was, happy belated birthday, and I forgot about it. So, it's all bad on me. So, happy birthday, Pat. Um, hope you had an enjoyable one. And uh, he was over yesterday, and we watched a movie, and it's not on, not on the list, but... Uh, I was like, you know what, I got to change things up a little bit, so let's do a, a war list. And so it's going to be uh, different uh, eras uh, for movies, and I can go, like I say, I'm not, I'm not even going to do like, uh, that didn't make the list. I'm just doing 12 movies, and then if people want to comment, it's like, you forgot this movie or whatever, I'll be on you if you want to mention uh, some other uh, movies, uh We'll go with that. Some of these movies are, when I grew up, ended up, you know, those were the movies. There was no cable or anything like that. So these would be the movies you'd watch on uh, the late show on Saturday night um, would be some of these. Um, for the mo And if, like, a, one of the channels had a movie, you know, movie night, they'd be on there sometimes. And then, like... Uh, some of the channels had a movie night, uh, major movie for that week or whatever. So, but uh, yeah, some of these uh, are a little old and probably could be like, you could replace this. But these are movies that I enjoyed and uh, epic battle movies. And we're going to start, I guess, era wise. And so we'll start with uh, Napoleon and Waterloo, 1970. Uh, Rod Steiger and Christopher Plummer. Um, good battle scenes in this uh, good story. And I guess they are coming out with, I just saw a remake of Waterloo and uh, be interesting, you know, 19 to 50 years uh, for a remake. So be interesting on, for what they did back then, it was a very impressive movie. Um, and then uh, I'm trying to do this time-wise, so I apologize. Making sure I have my movies because I added some. Okay, Waterloo. Next is, we're going with uh, Civil War. It'll be Gettysburg, 1993. And then they made a prequel, Gods in General, uh, 2003. Uh, there's all star cast in that movie, uh, those movies. Um, I, I say go with Gods in General and then um, Gettysburg, but like I say, Gettysburg was first, and then they made a prequel. So you can watch Gods and Generals first if you wanted to. Then at the same time era, uh, the Alamo, nineteen sixty, uh, John Wayne, uh, the original. Yeah, there is a remake, which is okay, but I like the original Alamo. Uh, so for that era, now have to jump to World War II. Do not have any World War I movies, so that'd be something if somebody has a decent uh, World War I movie to throw out. But uh, going into um, World War II, 
have uh, D Day, the longest uh, the longest day, uh, 1962. Another all star cast: uh, Robert Mitchum, John Wayne, I think Henry Fonda is in there. Um, but there's a lot of big names from back in that day, era in that movie. Um, in 1970, they really uh, threw out some uh, Torah, 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 uh, basically uh, the attack of Pearl Harbor, 1970. Um, it's a very good story, if I remember right. Uh, they had writers from Japan to do the Japanese side of things, and then uh, America do the American side. So, um, very... Again, another story that, you know, war movie that's pretty good. Um, then, uh, A Bridge Too Far. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, 1970, I'm sticking with Patton. George C. Scott, um, basically, I don't know how accurate the movie is in regards to its life story. It seems like the cover is pretty good. Uh, George C. Scott won an Academy Award for this movie, and he didn't show up to the Oscars because he didn't think uh, it's something you you did your job and you didn't give a shit about an award. Uh, it's pretty interesting that he basically told the Academy Awards not to contact him. <laughs> so, don't, don't. And so he ended up winning, which is kind of cool. It's like, okay. <laughs> and then oh my. <coughs> Other uh, World War II movie is uh, Bridge Too Far on 1977. And then my last one, this one just got on the list because I just watched it recently, uh, Hacksaw Ridge, uh, 19, uh, 2016. And first half of the movie, more story, but that the battle scenes in the end, I mean, it's, a, it's a, a very graphic, um, so. I'll go over that too. Um, I think out of that, I would say Hacksaw Ridge is pretty, takes it a notch for war movies and what the hell's going on. So give you a heads up there. Okay, so that was World War II and I think I just go into Vietnam. I did, I know there's a Korean War movie and it's Gregory, well, Poor Chap Hill. Yeah, oh, geez, I shouldn't have said nothing, sorry. That's not on the list. <laughs> Again, movies pop in my head. So we're going past the Korean War, going to Vietnam. And so we were soldiers, 2002, Mel Gibson. Uh, this one, uh, Colonel, first on the ground. And he would not leave the battlefield um, until his soldiers were off. So it's a pretty... That one's a pretty intense movie. Um, okay, I know I got another one here. Maybe I don't. Green Beret, uh, John Wayne, uh, 1968. Another Vietnam uh, War movie. Um, Green Beret kind of, I mean, and we were soldiers. I, I have to say those are decent movies. Um... And then I think my last movie is going to be Black Hawk Down 2001. Um, more of a battle movie. I won't, it, it, basically, um, warlords in Africa. And uh, pretty, again, that's a, a pretty intense movie. Um, Green Beret back in the time. That had a couple scenes in it, but basically in the 2000s, I definitely say that We Were Soldiers, Black Hawk Down, and Hacksaw Ridge, they're a little more graphic. Um, I think the Gettysburg and Gods and Generals have a couple scenes, but Black Hawk Down, uh, We Were Soldiers, and Hacksaw Ridge. Uh, basically, I have the fighting scenes going a little over the top. So, give you a heads up there. Uh, favorites of mine on this would be... I, I am one that likes A Bridge Too Far. It's got a good cast. Uh, I enjoy the movie. Um, Tora, Tora, Tora. That's another one that I enjoy. And then Patton. Uh, 
I guess for the kind of old school movies, those are more the ones I kind of enjoy. And, uh, you know, for the over the top, um, but I think uh, Hacksaw Ridge, that one, boy, when it goes, it goes. I mean, the, the storyline in the beginning is just uh, this guy and, you know, how he's going through and dealing with stuff. But when it turns on, it turns on. So, but I'd go Tora, 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 Patton. <laughs> what the hell? What's my, oh my word. Uh, the Bridge Too Far. Jeez. So those are my war movies. And that is my list. And uh, if you do, again, I threw a movie in there that I didn't want to. And uh, I could throw out some more. There's all kinds. I could go all over this thing. Um, like I said, I'd say... Two or three, um, like The Longest Day. It's an older movie, but the thing is, it tells the story of D-Day. And so it's like, okay, I could throw in, you know, but so, I'm like I say, I go with Tora, 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 Patton, and A Bridge Too Far for my three, top three. Uh, I won't say, because... I could say either one at that time. It's like, oh, I enjoy Tora, Tora, Tora. I enjoy Patton, a bridge too far again. So <laughs> that is my, I think it's 12 movies that I did. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Yeah. I, and I have another four or five movies right here that I could throw out. I think I do even more, but, uh, I could have done top 20, but then I'd be 25, 30. But uh, those are my top 12. Um, and while I was doing that, uh, I had the Kroger's Dr. K. So if you're looking for a cheaper version of Dr. Pepper, it does the job. So give you a heads up there. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, nothing. Bar oh, I've, uh, bacon prices seem to have come down. Um I was able to find bacon from my parents for two ninety nine, and uh, kind of shocked me because I did not think I'd see those prices again for bacon. Um, it was like a year ago, maybe two years ago, that I talked about there was some bacon on, that was um, like twelve dollars, and it was on sale for nine ninety nine or something like that. So to see the two ninety nine bacon, hey, maybe some signs of. Uh, Grocery prices coming back down a little bit, so hopefully. And uh, that's where we're at, and uh, have a good one, and a long video, and I hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching, everybody.